Hi friends, so welcome to all. In this video, we are going to see the packet tracer activity configuring switch port security from CCNA routing and switching. In this activity, we are going to configure port security and finally we are going to verify uh, port security. We will come to part 1, configure port security. Access the command line for S1 and enable port security on fast Ethernet ports 0 slash 1 and 0 slash 2. We will configure this on S1. We will come to S1. Enable configure terminal. And here we are going to the interface of fast Ethernet to 0 slash 1 as well as 0 slash 2. So we are here we are going to use a range command first Ethernet to 0 slash 1 hyphen 2 and we are going to give switch port port security. Now we enabled uh, port security. Next is uh, set the maximum so that only one device can access the fast Ethernet ports 0 slash 1 and 0 slash 2. So here we are going to uh, set the port security maximum as 1. Coming to switch. Yes, here we are going to set that. Switch port. We have port security maximum. Yes, we can give 1. Yes. Next is uh, secure the ports uh, so that the MAC address of a device is uh, dynamically learned and added to the running configuration. Yes, we will do this uh, now using MAC address sticky. Coming to S1. Here we are going to give a uh, switch port, port security. We have MAC address uh, sticky. Next is uh, set the violation so that the fast Ethernet ports 0 slash 1 and 0 slash 2 are not disabled when a violation occurs but packets are dropped from an unknown source. Yes, so we are going to set the violation as a restrict. Here we are going to do that. Switch port, port security, we have violation as a restrict yes disable all the remaining unused ports hence uh, use a range keyword to apply this configuration to all the ports simultaneously yes so we are going to uh, uh, disable uh, fast ethernet 0 slash 3 to uh, 24 and we got a 2 gigabit Ethernet uh, 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 interface. We are going to disable all this. Coming to switch. Okay, here we'll exit and we will give interface range. We have fast Ethernet to 0 slash uh, 3 till 24. Oops, yeah. Also, we have a gigabit Ethernet uh, 1 slash 1 till 2. Okay, interface range not validated, command rejected. Okay, we will verify the uh, interfaces. So here I am going to use uh, do show IP interface brief. Yes, here we can see the interface. Yes, we have gigabit of 0 slash 1 and 0 slash 2. We will go to interface range fast Ethernet 0 slash 3 hyphen 24. And we'll go to gigabit Ethernet 0 slash 1 hyphen 2. And we will shut down it. Yes. Now we will come to uh, part 2 verify port security uh, from PC1 pink PC2. Okay, we will come to PC1 and we will check the IP address of uh, PC2. Yes, here it is. We are going to ping, ping to the IP address of PC2, uh, we are getting the replay. Next is uh, verify port security is enabled, 
and to the MAC addresses of PC1 and PC2 were added to the running configuration. Yes, so we will come to that. Coming to S1, we will give show running config and here we can see the details. Yes, here we can see that switch port, port security and the MAC address is here. So this is the MAC address of uh, PC1 and uh, here we can see this is a MAC address of uh, uh, PC2. Even we can verify that coming to PC1. Command prompt here we can see. Yes, here we can see the MAC address of PC1. Uh, B0272245. B0, yes, 2245. Correct. Next is uh, attach a rogue laptop to any unused switch port and notice that the link lights are red. Obviously, because uh, except uh, fast Ethernet 0 slash 1 and 0 slash 2, uh, we shut down. We will verify that. From this laptop to, I am going to connect to fast Ethernet 0 slash 3. Yes, here we can see that uh, the lights uh, are in uh, red. Next is uh, enable the port and verify that uh, rogue laptop can ping PC1 and PC2. After verification, shut down the port connected to a rogue laptop. Okay, we will enable, uh, I mean, yes, we will enable this uh, port uh, which is uh, connected to uh, fast Ethernet 0 slash 3. So we will come to the interface before that configure terminal interface fast Ethernet 0 slash 3 and we will give no shut command. Yes. Now we can see uh, this interface is up. Now we will ping uh, PC1 and PC2 from rogue laptop. We will take the IP address of a PC1. So here we are going to ping to PC1. Yes, we are getting the replay. Now we will ping to uh, PC2. Yes, here we can see we, uh, we are getting the replay. Now we will shut down uh, the port connected to rogue laptop. So we are going to shut down this. Yes. Next is uh, disconnect PC2 and connect a rogue laptop to PC uh, I mean PC2 port port. Verify that a rogue laptop is unable to ping PC1. So here we are going to disconnect to PC2 and we are going to connect to a rogue laptop. We will uh, do that before that I am going to remove this and we are going to connect to this laptop. Now we are going to uh, ping uh, to PC1 from this uh, rogue laptop. Yes, here it is. We are waiting for the reply. No, it seems to be, yes, request timed out. We are not getting the reply from a PC1. Oh, we can see that uh, the ping failed. Next is a uh, display the port security violations so for the port a rogue laptop is connected to. Yes, this uh, rogue laptop is uh, now connected to uh, fast Ethernet to 0 slash 2. Uh, we will uh, verify that coming to S1. Okay, we will give the show command port security interface. The interface name is fast Ethernet 0 slash 2. And here we can see maximum MAC address allowed is 1, total MAC address is 1. Yes, and we can see sticky MAC address. Okay, security violation count. Yes, here we can see. Disconnect a rogue laptop and reconnect to PC2. Verify PC2 can ping PC1. Yes, we will come back to PC2 uh, now. 
okay and we have to uh, ping to pc1 coming here we are going to ping ten dot ten dot will ten dot ten yes we are getting the reply and here is the last one question uh, why is pc2 able to ping pc1 but the rogue laptop is not yes the port security that was enabled on the port only allowed the device whose mac my i mean whose mac was learned first so uh, we can see that the pc2 mac address uh, is uh, learned and the rogue when we connect rogue laptop uh, it will uh, prevent uh, communicating with other pcs so access to the port while preventing all other device access yes uh, friends so this packet tracer activity was uh, uh, about configuring switch port security uh, if you have any doubt uh, please comment below also if you like to get my future video information into your gmail you can subscribe my channel right now thank you